Okay, so we've moved into the Setup AI tab, and this is where you will upload intelligence, essentially, to your bot. You'll be inputting different keywords, phrases, sentences that you expect users to send to you, so the bot is smarter, and it can respond to more messages that users will be sending you. As mentioned in the default answer video, it is important to note that any keywords or phrases not included in the Setup AI tab here will trigger the default answer. In other words, your bot is only as smart as the intelligence you give it. Anything else the user says will trigger the default answer and send them that message. So keep that in mind as we go forward. Now, the question is, well, how do you actually set up these keywords and responses? It's super simple. All you have to do is click the Add AI Rule button here. And then on the left-hand side, you type in the keywords, phrases, sentences you anticipate users will send to your page. And then on the right-hand side, you put in how you want to actually respond to that message. So I'm going to say something like, where is my order? I want to see shipping updates or something like that. So in other words, people are asking about their order, right? And it's very, very important to note here as a best practice that ChatFuel is not designed to be an NLP, a natural language processing engine. Instead, these keywords are pretty much exact matching. So you want to predict as accurately as possible how users are going to be sending these messages. Because if you ask, for example, where is my order in between a paragraph, the reality is ChatFuel is not going to pick that up. So you want to be smart about it and even test for a while or go through old messages in your inbox and see, okay, what kinds of questions are people asking? How are they asking them? And then reflect that as much as possible in the AI tab here. Okay, so users are asking about their order, about shipping updates. Now we can set up the response. So on the right-hand side, we have two ways of responding, either with text or with a block. Text is just plain text. I wouldn't really recommend it. Uh, instead, a block is usually the best way to go because it allows you to use more feature-rich content, use images, videos, buttons, logic, etc. So I'll just use this as, a, as an example though that I could type in, uh, you know, what is your order number, for example. This is just a text-only response. This is a terrible way to use it, of course, because the user is going to type that in and it's going to trigger the default answer because we're not going to have a response set up for their order number. So I'll show you the way around that here in a second using the block response. So I'm going to delete this and use a block instead. I'll create a new block called uh, order FAQ, for example. I'm going to double click that. And OK, so this is the block that people will get if they're asking where their order is. Let's set up a user input plugin. So I'm going to click this plus button and select user input. As mentioned in previous videos, this will allow us to ask the user a question and save their response to an attribute. So this is not going to trigger the default answer because uh, basically it's like a, a form in a field. They're not just typing in uh, in the bot itself, so to speak. So let's ask them, what is your order number? And then we could send this number, for example, to a database using the JSON API plugin and send back a response. So I'll type in order number here is the attribute. And cool. So they ask a question about where is my order. They get here, they enter their order number, and then we could send them a response back using the JSON API plugin, for example. So cool. Now let's show you how this actually works in practice. So I'm going to test this bot. And I'm going to say, where is my order? Of course, I get that response back. What is your order number? I'll say, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six. Now, notice because I was typing inside that user input plugin, it's not going to send me the default answer. However, if I typed something else like, uh, I'm so upset with your company because my order isn't here. Where is my order? I want a refund ASAP. If I type something like that, even though that keyword is within that message that I sent, the reality, as I mentioned, because it's not an exact match to what we set up in the Setup AI tab, I'm getting sent the default answer, which in this case is nothing because I don't have a default answer set up. But you notice I'm not getting that 
what is your order number question in the block that it would redirect to uh, if I had entered in the correct keyword. So again, takeaway here is that you always need to make your AI tab keywords, phrases, and sentences as close to reality as possible. Just a short keyword won't do the trick. You really need to go that extra mile, do some research if necessary, and go through your old inbox messages. One other key point to mention here is attributes, right? So in this order FAQ block that I've created, I could also set attributes to track what kinds of questions people are asking and that sort of thing for future retargeting. So this order FAQ isn't the best example, but say that I have a different FAQ for shipping cost, for example, I'll just create this here as an example. So say that I'm getting lots of questions about the cost of shipping, people are unhappy because it's really expensive, maybe I'm shipping large uh, items and it's very expensive. So what I could do then is on this block add an attribute called something like concerned about shipping cost and set this value to true. So then here I'm keeping track of everybody who's concerned about shipping and then later on, say I'm running a sale on Black Friday and I wanna make my offers as relevant as possible, I could then filter through and send a broadcast to people who are concerned about shipping and say, hey, today's Black Friday special is we're going to give free shipping to everybody who orders over this amount of product, basically. So that's another option that you have here. I would highly recommend it. At the end of the day, more data is always better. So keep that in mind and happy botting.